Oh, hello, Scott here, and I'm out again having a little walk uh, near the Harrogate Stray. Let's have a look at what we can find. I'm always very surprised when you see all of these old, they must be old shops. In fact, that's a business suite, that must be like serviced offices, I guess. I think most of these are now houses. So author and bookseller Ely Hargrove, 1741-1718, who published Harrogate's first guidebook in 1775, moved his shop from Church Square to this newly built uh, Regent, Regent Parade location in 1800, set up a subscription library that became popular with visitors. A lot of brown signs, I won't bore you with brown signs everywhere, but I thought that was quite interesting. A rather plain house really, very old though, clearly 200 years old. Let's walk on. There's so many little nooks and crannies in the stray area. Again, some lovely little houses. Hopefully you can hear me above the wind. So we're coming now to registry office. Looks pretty quiet today. Often you come here and you'll see clearly ceremonies finishing. Built and house, which is Harrogate Registry Office. Harrogate Wedding Lounge. This is Park Parade. And again, you can see the detail there. It's, it looks like a little veranda, but I don't think it is. I think it's, well, I don't know what it is really. Very unusual. And that's where we've just come from. Yeah, look at the autumnal colors. Absolutely beautiful. The old parsonage. So many different styles of house that way. Still lots of uh, signs saying nine hours disc parking, which I'm guessing means that if you are if you live here, you can keep your car parked outside all day, which is a really good idea, really. It's sort of, I guess, a, a residence permit in reverse, almost. So it means anyone else, though I suppose, could, could do the same. So if you work in the area, I guess you could just put a disc and get nine hours free, couldn't you? So perhaps it's not that good an idea after all. I don't know what that is. Christchurch Oval. That's a lovely little area. Okay, so that used to be a Methodist chapel. Home and studio of Bernard Evans. He sounds Welsh, doesn't he? Celebrated watercolourist, I don't know if he is. Put in the comments if you've heard of him and if you know anything about him. Oh, indeed, if you live in that house. It's a grand looking house with a flag outside it. What it is. A little basement as well. Flats, probably, although it doesn't look like flats. So that, I believe. Is that the Prince of Wales Mansions, I think? Just call it Little Flats. I'm guessing it's probably one of the tallest uh, buildings in Harrogate. No, I was wrong, it's called Park Place Apartments. Rather pleasant. You can probably just see it up there. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 stories, there can't be many more buildings in Harrogate. Oh, many buildings in Harrogate, there's uh, 12 stories or more, maybe. Uh, I don't think there's anything in Hornbeam Park that big, and I don't think there's anything in Town Centre that big, to be honest. There it is, quite a reasonable size. I mean, there are lots of hotel rooms in Harrogate. Now, I can't remember if they've still got their yurt outside, which was, when lockdown was coming, that was a convenient outdoor drinking space. 
Uh, it's still there. Yeah, I'll show you the years in a minute. So it used to be the Queen Hotel. Uh, Queen's, Queen's Head, possibly after Catherine of Braganza. Uh, I'm not going to read it all. Essentially, it was a, looks like it was built and always has been a hotel. So we'll have a look at this little yurt in a moment. Never eaten here, I've had a drink in here, never eaten here. Nice little water feature. And yeah, so there's the yurt. You can probably just about see it. TP on the stray. Okay, so there's a number of different ways we can go here. Either carry on and park parade, which I think what I'm going to do, or York Place, I guess. Or I could walk across the stray there. That's towards Hook to Hookstone Road, um, eventually. Uh, going up to Hornby and Park. That's where we've come from. Public footpath there. I don't know where that goes. That's the back, obviously the back of the hotel there. Public footpath. It strikes me that I'm just walking with my camera talking about the town in which I live and which I'm guessing many people watching this live as well although from the comments there are certainly some people that watch these films from certainly further afield than North Yorkshire Please do tell me if this is the kind of content that is of interest to you um, I've done primarily lots of food videos pies, pubs, that sort of thing mostly Harrogate based Do let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see what a beautiful house. It's like one of those things you see on Channel 4 on, is it um, Grand Design, something like that. Absolutely beautiful. It looks like there's an old existing house and they built something really quite modern onto it. Like. Very interesting. Now there's a sign here for a, another public footpath. I'm gonna go down here and see what's down here, shall we? I don't think I've been down here before. There's the back of that uh, house we've just, what a beautiful house. Back of that. And I suppose it, seeing round here, it's all surprising how many people live and I did indeed work in this little area around Harriet, the little bits of flats. Anyway, here we are. I think I know where we are now. Vaguely. A bit quieter. You can probably hear me a little bit better now. The wind seems to have died down a little bit. Right, I think I'm sort of in the Odeon area, I think. Oh, some Craven Lodge. Oh. Looks like that's been refurbed quite a bit. Right, so I'm vaguely heading towards the station now so I'll probably end this video in just a, a moment or two I'm doing another video on Hornbeam Park I'm just gonna jump on the train one stop have a little nose around Hornbeam Park I haven't been up there for a while if it's any good I'll I'll put that video up if it's not then please forget you heard this you know and um, yeah we'll see what uh, that holds my job center didn't know I gotta be honest I didn't know Harrogate had a job center job center plus Looks like flats above it, maybe. More, maybe not. Probably offices, I guess. Okay, here we go. Right, so we're now yeah, coming towards the, the town centre. Some more council buildings. Now you'll see increasingly more North Yorkshire County Council um, buildings around the town, clearly, because next year Harrogate District Council, as well as all of the other district councils in the area, are being abolished. Uh, which I think is nine of them. You know, from Ry Rydell over Scarborough, I guess, over in the, the far east uh, to us here in Harrogate, and then up to North Richmond, Hambleton, all of that will all become just a unitary authority, which is North Yorkshire, which will be, in terms of size, I understand the largest 
council in either England or the UK. I tend to think probably England because I'm sure there are single uh, councils in Scotland which must be uh, greater than that. But here we go, so this is like the, the Waitrose area, I think just over there. Odin just ahead of us and then the station. So uh, thank you very much for watching. As I said, please subscribe if this content is of any use to you at all. And as ever, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please consider subscribing to this channel. Also, I'd be very grateful if you could like this video and hit that notification bell. If you do that, you'll continue to receive lots more rubbish just like this.